Hey, your prodigies, Prod Charles here, and in this video, I'm going to share with you another Tattletale secret. This video will go through the unused voice lines that are in the Tattletale game files. There are a whole bunch of clips to go through and I'll leave a link to the video that I'm getting these from in the description. I will only be covering the ones that I didn't hear in the game. Make sure you watch this video all the way through because these sound clips actually give clues on what could have been in the game and give clues to what might be in a future game based on Tattletale. Just one more thing prodigies, these will only be the clips used by Tattletale in the game, so I won't be covering random sound effects or anything like that. Okay, let's begin. The first clip I'll cover is Tattletale saying BIG SOUND BIG SOUND We don't actually hear Tattletale saying this in the game. The Tattletale kind of just lets us make the sound, and that little beeper in the top right hand corner of the screen kind of alerts us to the sound that we're making. What could this have possibly been used for? Would it have been used for the sound that the player makes, or would it have been used for a sound that comes from something else? So for example, could it have been used for the knocking on the door on one of the nights? Could it have been used for when Mama teleports because she makes that tapping sound on the ground? Who knows? The next clip is one of Tattletale saying, Who's there? Who's there? Now why would Tattletale be saying this if Mama is the only enemy in the game. If you can remember on the second night, when you pick up your flashlight, we get a hint that says Mama or creatures can come after us. What is up with that? Could this have been used for the creatures part of it? Could this explain where the dog has gone? Maybe the dog was a creature that would have chased us around the house and led Mama to us. Let me know what you think about it. Next. Big mess, hee hee hee. Big mess, hee hee hee. This is a sound clip of Tattletale teasing us, assumedly for the mess that it makes during the middle of the game. Can't see me can't see me. I actually don't know if this was used in the game or not, because it could possibly have been used. I just might not have encountered it at all, but I haven't seen anybody encounter this. It's obviously something that would have been used in the hide and seek part of the story, but I can't really see any other use for this. Could it have also been used when Tattletail was tumbling around in the dryer? That's also something up for interpretation. Go away, mama! Go away, mama. This is interesting, and I can kind of see why this was taken out of the game. It would make absolutely no sense for the Tattletale to say go away mama when you're near mama because the sound would attract mama and jump scare the player. That would be so frustrating and I think this was taken out to give the Tattletales a better sense of the danger that they're in so that they don't say stuff that would put them in even more danger. But it's interesting to think that they would have said this at one point and it makes sense that they would have said this when mama actually starts to attack you on any night because the lights start going out. I can imagine this playing when that kind of happens. The lights start flickering and you hear Go away mama! Go away mama. There's also this snoring noise. Which I think might also cover what we said previously about Tattletail coming back to bed with us. Tattletail doesn't need to make a snoring noise, and that's probably the reason that makes the most sense to me as to why they'd even put a snoring noise for this toy in the first place. Of course, the noise could have initially been put in there to play when Tattletail was running low on batteries, or when Tattletail was being recharged. But again, that's something for the developers to decide and for us to guess on. I didn't do it! It wasn't me! Now this clip is a really weird one. Tattletail says, I didn't do an uh, and then it stops, and then says it wasn't me. Why would Tattletail say something like this? It's a very strange and ominous thing to say after all. I think the best explanation for this sound clip being in the game is for the mess that Tattletail makes during the middle of the game. But this clip sounds really strange and, to be honest, a little bit evil. What if Tattletail at one point was trying to help Mama out? Or what if it's another clip that Tattletail was using to aggravate Mama, but the developers removed to make more sense of the survival aspect of the game? Whatever the reason, this one's a really interesting clip and really stands out from the rest of them. We know what you did. Me know what you did. This makes me get an even stronger feeling that Tattletail was actually initially supposed to tattle on you and bring Mama closer to you, rather than feel constantly scared of Mama and saying stuff like Mama's scary. And again, I see why the developers would take this clip out. It doesn't make any sense for the survival of the Tattletail to actually tattle on you while you're playing the game, and probably discounts a lot of theories out there that say that Tattletail was actually trying to tattle on you, and that the Tattletales were evil. It actually helps people to see that the Tattletales were designed to be good. Mm. 
Tattletail makes this weird humming noise and I have absolutely no idea why it would be in there. Maybe it's in there to be played after it ate something? I really can't tell and it's super weird. So I'll leave you guys to think about that one. Oopsie daisy! Tattletail also was meant to say oopsie daisy at one point and I think this could also be for the mess cleaning mission that we have in the middle of the game. But remember that Tattletails also lay eggs. The eggs come about from the Tattletails eating something and whatever they ate appears in the egg that comes out of them. Now this is a whole explanation video on its own but basically Tattletail comes with Tattle treats and I assume that the way they work is that they eat the Tattle treat, it goes into the egg within them, they lay the egg and then you refill the egg into the Tattletail. So you get both the egg and the Tattle treat back and then it can re-eat everything. Really what I'm trying to say here is I think the eggs are like a pooping system for the Tattletails. As gross as it sounds, a lot of toys in the 90s tried to make this a kind of reality, especially with baby toys where you'd feed the baby food and then the baby would poop or pee it out again, which is, it sounds really gross, but they were really popular back then. And heck, they might even still be popular now. I don't know. Shut the door! Shut the door! We have two clips here of Tattletail shouting, shut the door. One more frantic than the other. Shut the door! Was there one point where we were able to open and close doors, and in some cases even be able to enter a room and have to close the door on Mama? This makes me think of two things. Maybe in Tattletail we were originally meant to hide from Mama in different rooms. Or maybe we were meant to hide from a creature. The closer that the creature got, the more panicky the Tattletail got. Just a thought, but I think this is a super interesting sound clip. And the fact that there are two of them meant that this actually could have been a very important feature in the game that didn't make it. Maybe we'll see it in the next one. Tattletail go home! Tattletail go home? I'm guessing this is going back to the box. And I'm not sure why this one would be taken out. Could this have been used for the Tattletail going back to the factory? I doubt it. I really think it was used for the Tattletail going back to the box. But you never know. Where you go? Where did you go? Were we at one point able to drop our Tattletail? If this is the case, we might have been able to drop the Tattletail and Mama might have been able to capture it, leading to a game over. Not only when Mama gets us, but when it gets the Tattletail. This would have been a really interesting mechanic if it was the case, because we could have used Tattletail to lure Mama out and then do whatever we needed and then come back to get the Tattletail. But it would also have made the game a lot harder because people had enough trouble running away from Mama as it was. So could you imagine trying to help a Tattletail that was in a completely different room from you while trying to avoid Mama yourself? I could also see a lot of problems with Mama spawning near the Tattletail so close that you couldn't get near it because it would make a sound and come and attack you instead. Or maybe you could have made an accidental sound that could cause it to attack you. Or maybe it could even be a case of the attack radius of the Mama being so weird that it might not attack the Tattletail, but it might attack you if you try and get near it. I feel like this could have been a huge issue somewhere along the lines, so it makes sense that this sound clip was taken out. There's an interesting clip here that has Tattletail saying, Why you do bad? Why you do bad? Why would the Tattletail ask us this question? We don't do anything bad throughout the game. Could this have been used to stop us from getting the secret ending, as we have to be good throughout the game in order to get that and collect all of the eggs? Could it have been used when we pick up the phone on the first night? Again, another really intriguing clip, and I'm not sure what kind of game mechanic would cause us to be branded as bad throughout the game. Look what we did! Look what we did! This is also another clip that we do not find in the game, and I'm going to assume that this clip would have played when we come back to the ritual after the Tattletales have set it up without us looking. This line sounds like a line of triumph, and probably would have been said by one of the Tattletales that were already sitting on the magic circle that they made, with the pentagram on it. I'm not sure why this clip would go unused, it would actually be pretty cool if one of them actually said that they did this, but I guess it's pretty obvious on its own that the four Tattletales that were left behind in the basement for that mission would have done everything on their own. Choo choo! Choo choo! This is another one of those weird ones and I'm honestly not sure what this would have been used for either. The only thing I can think of is that we might have been able to open more than one present at one point in the game. And if the other present was a train or if we already owned a train and we had a tattletail and walked past it, then it might have made this noise. Or it might have just made the noise randomly as we were walking around. Because we carry it, it might think it's on a choo-choo train, where in reality it's in the hands of a disturbed child running away from a demonic teddy rock spin with a spinning head. The 90s were good times. Prodigies, what do you think about all of these sound clips? 
I think they're super interesting and they might actually hint towards features that could be used in a future game. And for the most part, I think that a lot of them being removed makes a lot of sense. Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more interesting horror game secrets. See ya! Huge disclaimer because I know somebody is going to post about it in the comments. I spent quite a few days trying to get these sound clips to trigger and I just couldn't no matter what. If you're able to get this on your first try or whatever, that's great. Post it in the comments, but please just chill out on the hate. I literally still have people telling me that you can open a tattletale and knock on your mom's door on my pre-update tattletale secrets video. Don't be one of those.